Germany is going to double electric vehicle subsidies. This is insane. Demand for electric cars right now in Germany is already off the charts. This is going to just make demand for electric cars there go absolutely mental. And it's right at an interesting time for, well, for both Volkswagen and Tesla. What's going to happen? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you today. And thank you for subscribing to the channel. Great to have you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. The Driven reports that Germany's transport ministry plans to double electric car subsidies in order to achieve climate targets. But experts and NGOs are criticizing the plans as hugely expensive and ineffective, reports Business Daily Handelsblatt. Now, I reckon the reason that it's being criticized by so-called experts is because those so-called experts are probably paid by unions in the automotive industry in Germany. By the way, unions in the automotive industry in Germany believe that more than 80,000 jobs are going to be lost if German automakers start making EVs, as in they basically move away from internal combustion engines and just start making EVs. They think they're going to lose at least 80,000 jobs. There's going to be a huge economic crisis in Germany. That's that's what they think. They've said that themselves. Not making that up. I actually made a video about that. I'll put a link to the, in the description to the video I made about those statements from German unions. I think there's a good chance some of that's happening right now because there is a bit of resistance even within Volkswagen to making electric cars for that exact reason. Yes, there definitely will be job losses in Germany. Absolutely no doubt about it. Why will there be job losses? Because the premier country when it comes to making electric cars is clearly China. They have the technology, they have a production capability, they have production capability for batteries. Clearly a lot of vehicle sales will move to China from Europe. It's simply inevitable. Germany wants to avoid that. Well, the governments, it's in between a rock and a hard place, isn't it? Because what are they going to do? On the one side of things, they want to achieve climate goals. They want to eliminate all the pollution in the air, I mean, which affects you now, not just in the future. It doesn't just affect the climate in the future. It affects you right now. People are literally dying from cancer constantly because of air pollution. Seriously, that's a true fact. And so the government has to try and do something to help the climate now and for 10 years, forever. And then on the other hand, they've got to protect jobs as well. So what do they do? Well, they had to make a decision and they decided to double subsidies. According to an appraisal, though, of the proposals by several research institutes for the government seen by the newspaper minister Volker Wissing, a member of the pro-business Free Democrats, suggest that buyers of electric cars costing up to 40,000 euros receive 10,800 euros in government support instead of the current 6,000 euros, in addition to the car maker's premium of 3,000 euros. That's a massive saving. I mean, give me that. I'll have two electric cars, not just one. Vehicles costing up to 60,000 euros could receive 8,400 euros instead of the existing 5,000. And these subsidies would be extended until 2027, when, you know, at which point there will be no more internal combustion engine vehicle sales in Germany. Not because of government rules, just because nobody bought Nokia analog phones when digital smartphones cost the same price. Did they? No, I don't believe so. From the second half of next year, buyers would have to scrap a conventional car to receive the full support. So this is a good move, right? Get an extra extra subsidy, get your old car scrapped, get it off the road entirely. This actually would make a pretty big difference to emissions in Germany. However, I'm kind of curious, could you go and buy a whole bunch of cars from a junkyard, maybe even from other countries like Poland, right? Bring them across the border, maybe for like, 200 bucks each, and then get all the subsidies, sell the subsidies off. I don't know. It'd be interesting to see how this would work. The ministry's proposals also include more than 50 other measures to accelerate the shift to low emission mobility, including research programs for climate neutral aviation, railway digitalization, and support for public transport. Personally, as you all know, I believe the most important thing governments should be focusing on is getting people out of cars and onto electric bikes or electric scooters or electric skateboards, electric mobility of any kind that's not a car. Most journeys that most of us do are less than 10 minutes average. We don't need a car to make those journeys. And I've got to get, I've got to stop driving my kids to school. It's unnecessary. I need to get them on their bikes, riding to school. That's what I'll be doing this year. Even though my youngest is only five years old, it doesn't matter. He can ride. He's a good bike rider. And you know what? I can do it with him. We can learn. That's my plan for this year. The transport ministry is under pressure because the notoriously laggard transport sector exceeded the government's climate targets again last year. You know, one of the reasons for this is because the car industry, it's scamming. All right, now... I made a video about this as well. The scam that they're basically playing, this plug-in hybrid game, right? 
It's a scam. They claim that you can achieve these emissions which are impossible to achieve because no one actually, very few people drive plug-in hybrid cars in the way that they have to in order to get the emissions figures that the manufacturers quote. So it's a loophole the German government wants to try and close currently. That's one of the reasons, one of, not, not all, but one of the reasons that emissions are higher from the automotive industry this year than what they should be. Now, the Institute said e-car subsidy costs could add up to 73 billion euros by 2027 and also forecast that 2030 transport emissions will even slightly increase over today's levels under the proposals because the transport ministry is too optimistic in its assumptions of many measures climate effects. So I'm not sure why these um, so-called institutes, probably paid by oil and gas, I'm guessing, claim that emissions will increase by 2027 if people start using electric cars en masse. That just makes no sense at all. It's ridiculous. It's like Toyota level propaganda. The Economy and Climate Ministry already reviewed the subs the Institute's appraisal and said that in any case, additional measures are necessary on a considerable scale. In other words, they ignored these idiotic comments from, I don't know, whoever the idiots are that are making them. Environmental group Greenpeace lambasted the proposals as a sinfully expensive gift to the car industry that does next to nothing for climate protection. The NGO instead called for more ambitious European CO2 fleet limits and taxes on large conventional cars. So I think Greenpeace just wants um, taxes, more taxes. Yeah, let me know what you think about that in the comment section below. Wissing's plans are likely to, to trigger huge resistance within the federal government, which agreed in its coalition treaty to phase out all electric car subsidies by 2025 and allotted a total of 5.9 billion euros for the support payments. Greenpeace said the Climate Ministry, the Greens and the SPD should reject Wissing's expensive bonus fireworks and demand a serious immediate program from the Transport Minister. But they gave no ideas on what that should be or any kind of suggestions or plans or what we could do to improve the climate. It was just, no, we don't like it. This is wrong. Now, I've got to be, to be fair here. This Greenpeace party, they receive donations from all different countries around Europe. They do. That's part of German political party's rules. They're allowed to get donations and they do get donations all over the place. And they particularly spend a lot of that donation money on trying to stop Tesla from, well, from existing period in Germany. They've been trying to stop the Gigafactory from being able to exist in the first place, from then, then from opening then, and now from producing cars. And they're continually trying to stop Tesla. Whether Whatever you think of that, I don't know. But personally, it seems to me something is going on there. I don't know what that is. Maybe you can tell me in the comment section below what you think it is though, because whatever it is does seem slightly alarming and it doesn't seem to align with their political narrative or with the goals of the party itself. So what do you think of these subsidies? If they did get passed and if they did go ahead, would you agree with them or would you disagree? Thank you for watching and I'll see you again on the next video. Bye-bye.